Hello, this is Jim Duffy, Refining Fire Chilies. Welcome to our video series called Peppers 101. In this video series, we are going to give you information about different kinds of chilies in the hope that it will inspire you and encourage you to try different kinds of chilies, whether in the garden or in your food or your cooking. And we hope that you will pass down your knowledge of chilies, whether it's gardening or cooking or usage with uh, your friends and your family members, especially your children, your grandchildren, co-workers, neighbors. Share the chili love all over. Don't keep it a secret. If we don't share the legacy of chilies with other peoples, then who will? So this is our video series, Peppers 101. Please like and share the video. That will help us to, uh, oh, train's going by, so let's pause a second till the train goes by. The train likes to go by when I'm filming. It's just a part of living here close to the railroad tracks. So let's let's just give it a few seconds. Looks like this guy wants to beep the horn more than the last guy. Probably gives him a sense of power. But hey, it's better he beeps that horn than some car doesn't isn't aware of them coming and people get hurt. So God bless the conductor of the train. So with that being said, please subscribe like the video that helps it to get out there more so people will see it I hit the bell notification if you want to learn more about chilies because we're going to do over 100 videos this year in 2023 so what we're looking at right now is the antilles antilles spelled this way red caribbean and it's a red caribbean type of habanero you notice the stem is kind of dry this pepper's been on here a while i haven't got the pick yet so this pepper's been on here a long time. So it's ready to drop off. So this is a red habanero type from the Caribbean, from the islands, called Antilles. There's Antilles and there's Lesser Antilles. I think the Lesser Antilles are a smaller group of islands or they're south of the Antilles. So this is in the Caribbean Sea, you know, which ranges from the Atlantic Ocean all the way over to Central America. It's all the Caribbean Sea. This is where the countries of all the different Caribbean islands and countries like St. John's, Dominica, Dominican Republic, Haiti, Cuba, Antilles, Lesser Antilles, Trinidad, Tobago. Uh, these are all in that area, okay, in that region. Caymans, the Cayman Islands. I'm sure you've heard of the Cayman Islands. So this is Antilles Red Caribbean. It's very, very fruity. It has a respectable habanero heat probably from medium to high habanero heat level. And uh, it's very productive. I'm gonna show you some more chilies on the plant. Oh look, the drip for irrigation is coming on. Just in time, some of the plants are getting a little wilty. You see how the plants are getting a little wilty? Here's my drip irrigation, if you wanted to see my drip irrigation working. So, Antilles Red Caribbean. It's pretty straightforward. It's a red habanero type from Antilles. Very fruity and flavorful. There's a lot of red Caribbean types all over the Caribbean. And I encourage you to try them because even if they look a lot alike, they have different flavors. There's differences in them. And you know what? If you're one of those people who really don't have a, a good palate, a good sense of taste, you may not notice the difference, but a lot of people will. And uh, this is a good substitute for Red Savina. We haven't really seen really good quality Red Savina in a while. We are on, we're always on the search to try to get that good Red Savina, the large ones we got years ago. But now we have a better substitute for it called the giant, giant red habanero, um, which might be related to the red savina. All these Caribbean reds are related to one another, folks. Even the red savina. All the red savina is is a red Caribbean habanero. It just got famous because it was one of the first pepper records to be published in Guinness. That's why the red savina is so popular. So they get about this size, which is about golf ball size, okay? And the plants get... Uh, between four and five feet tall. I've never seen these plants. I've grown this variety for over 10 years 
And I've never seen this variety get more than 10, been not 10 feet tall, my goodness. Who wouldn't want to have a 10 foot tall pepper plant? Uh, they don't really get close to five feet tall. Some other habanero types get that way, get that big, no problem. But I haven't seen it with Antilles Caribbean. I haven't seen it. But if you want to try another red Caribbean type, this is a good one to try. Here's some pods here in the back. The lighting will be a little off as I go underneath the pepper plant canopy. So, I hope you've learned something today about the Antilles Red Caribbean and try other Red Caribbean types. We're also growing Red Dominica this year. We'll do a video on that later on when we get to it. But uh, I think we're growing a couple Red Caribbean types. We're growing Ahi Chambo, that's Panama, but that's Panama's on the Caribbean as well from Central America. We already did a video on Ahi Chambo, and we're doing Red Dominica. And what else are we doing? God, we don't. I don't remember what other Red Caribbean types I have out here. Oh yeah, well I have a Red type out here that's not a Red Caribbean, but it probably originated from the Caribbean, and that's Uganda Red from Africa, which migrated over to Africa and became Uganda Red. So, Antilles Red Caribbean. Try growing new chilies. Try different things with chilies. Explore your boundaries. Don't, don't let your boundaries hold you back. Be adventurous in the kitchen. Share with your friends and your family, especially your children and your grandchildren. Take them in the garden. Take them in the kitchen. And share the chili love. Because if we don't, who else will? You all take care now. Jim Duffy of Refining Fire Chilies.